Welcome back to KSP Ad Astra, and I have multiple fun missions for you today, but today we're doing a Moonlander, which is going to be really cool. But first off, we're starting off with Aurora Station's life support, launching on a Phoenix One, because of course it is. It is going into its very, very odd polar orbit, um, as polar orbits are very, very uncomfortable. Uh, but here we are, flying our reusable uh rocket up into space and here we go we are doing a slight little correction and we're gonna burn just a little bit so that we can get into orbit it is slightly heavy and there we go second stage is burning away to get us into that nice clean crispy orbit this uh this orbit will take a little while because it is a uh it is quite a heavy little payload that we have got going on up here so we almost basically get to the point where we're starting to worry about re-entering by the time that we actually get this thing circularized uh yeah Anyway, while this is going on, I have a little announcement. If I reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the month, I'm going to release three full length videos by the end of the month, uh, like, uh, like back to back to back, like, like right after each other, just uh, three of them, one each day like one I, it'll be every other day it'll be monday wednesday friday of the week that we hit or the week after we hit or whatever and then um i'll post an hour-long video the next week oh <gasps> yep that's what i'm going to do anyway if we get monetized before the end of next year or at the end of this year I am going to <clears throat> I'm going to release seven hour-long videos the first week of January yep you heard that right that is exactly what I'm doing anyway we're coming in for the encounter with our station um, it's looking like we will overshoot it because we tend to always overshoot these things and here we are we just overshot it by a couple of kilometers which is not terrible and then we're going to point ourselves in the direction of it as we come in a little closer and then that's the end of that for some reason we lost the rest of that clip i don't know why uh, but here we are we have hermes one it's finally entering its planned orbit it's going to circularize and it'll just be permanently in its own little altitude above uh Kerbin. yeah and here we are the peace de resistance the, the the ultimate thing of this is the cersei lander now the cersei lander is named after the goddess cersei and yeah, it's because of the connection with the moon, of course. Um, anyway, this is going to be a heavy, heavy, heavy lander. And it is currently on its way to the Mun. And it's going to dock to the station. And that is where it'll be housed. And it will be used to get back and forth with Liberty Base. Which will be awesome. So... Here we are, we are currently pointing directly towards the horizon, and we are, well, not really the horizon, but the, it's a horizon on an airplane, it's the horizon marker. Uh, but here we are, we're pointing in that direction, we are using up pretty much all of our fuel to get to that point, and we're going to use our second stage to get us in a nice circular orbit while our first stage attempts a relanding, this is a very, very difficult relanding. As you can see, it's already on fire very quickly. Um, but here it is. It's coming in for the landing. 
and it should be golden. But while that's happening, we're making out our maneuver to the Mun. And here we go for a landing. And that was officially our riskiest landing that we have successfully landed. Uh, which is awesome, because that means less money. That's like 100,000. That's 100,000 credits or whatever that is that just gets saved every single time we do that, which is so nice. Um, but here we are. The second stage is shooting all the way out to the Mun. And we had to disconnect and fire the, the third stage a little bit. But that's fine. Uh, this thing has more than enough fuel. As you can see, it has like roughly like 3,000 uh, meters per second of Delta V, which is perfect. That can get us up and down like twice, which is more than enough. So here we are uh, just doing a small correction burn so that we can get right in there, right with a good encounter. And it will be a nice quick encounter, uh, which is always better because like there's always issues with it not uh, working properly, whatever. But here we are. Here is our uh, capture burn slash um, our burn to make us basically perfectly in line with the uh, the ship. I'm starting to get really good at these uh, these nodes because I've encountered it perfectly like multiple times now, which is pretty cool. Um, hitting it at the correct time is still not perfect uh, but you know it's only several kilometers away that it's very easy to fix for docking um, once you start getting like 10 to 20 that becomes a lot harder but you know if you're only like seven away that's fine but here we are closing in on the station with our brand new lunar lander it is currently not being piloted by anyone um, here it is coming in for uh, for docking. Now, this is where I noticed something not great. Um, I thought I put the uh, five-way um, five RCS on this. Uh, it turns out I only put the four-way, so it doesn't have any... Um, yeah, it basically can't uh, shift over correctly. So I can only go side to side, not forward and backward, basically. Well, forward and backward, but like I can tr I can translate in the X direction and the Z direction, but I can't translate in the Y direction, which is kind of not fun. Uh, so here we are. We're lining up our docking. Um, it won't be perfect. <laughs> it never will until we uh, we fix the whole issue. But on the next launch, I think I'm going to include um, some RCS ports and I should be able to attach them, like remove the current ones and attach the new ones to the side, which should allow us to have much better control. But here we are. This should be our final docking maneuver. As you can see, it's also a little bit unstable um, because the RCS isn't uh, perfectly um symmetrical from the uh, from the center of mass which is also an issue which we could easily fix but here we are finally approaching docking and there we are we have docked to the station and because I'm not a patient person we're gonna land it on the Mun so because we we need to do some repairs to Liberty Station so we're gonna transfer some Kerbals into the uh, we're going to transfer a pilot and an engineer because we need a pilot and an engineer. We're going to transfer them in. And we are going to basically undock from the station and we're going to go down and land at the Liberty Station. Now, uh, we need to do some repairs and we also need to connect up the power generation system that we put down there. So we have to send down an engineer. And here we go. Our encounter is all lined up and we are basically going to decelerate and land our craft right there at the basically the the base that we'll be building out more in a couple of episodes uh, 
the next episode we're going to be building out the Mun station a little bit better or like the the orbital Mun station a little bit more which will be also pretty cool but here we are coming in for a landing a perfect landing right the best spot it could possibly be the landing guidance worked perfectly and there we go we have landed now we're gonna get a Kerbal out and this will be the end of the episode thank you guys so much for uh, joining and I will see you all in the next video and remember subscribe and there will be like you know there will be three in one week at the end of this month if that works out right but that's the end of the video and I will see you guys next time.